Hello friends, welcome to Learning Space. Today's current affairs S&T Health and Environment for 34th week module number 2 is H1N1, Swine Flu Returns. Let us take into the module really quick. What is the difference between cold and flu? We come across these terms very uh, commonly in our daily life. So, cold is actually a moderate fever which has a uh, slight headache or body pain in our uh, symptoms. But when you tell that you have got flu, you should mean that you have a severe headache and body pain with a very high fever. In cold, the symptom builds over 48 hours, but flu symptoms are very fast. While cold, you have stuffed nose, runny nose, that is you have things coming out from your nose. Flu, in that flu, you have breathing problems associated with that as well. So, while cold is a, a kind of light sensation of fever and uneasiness, flu is rather a heavy and serious issue and it is more severe and people can even lose their lives if they have a flu. So, let us come to today's topic, what is swine flu? Now, swine flu is a respiratory disease and it has been originated in the pigs, but that got quickly spread to the human beings. Today, the disease is caused by the influenza virus. Two viruses there, H1N1 and H3N2 strains. Swine flu was declared a pandemic in 2009 and post-pandemic in 2010. And it is treated now as a seasonal influenza in many parts of the world. And it can spread during the flu season that is October to May. Okay, also in time of the summer seasons along with the other virus or the other viral infections. Let us take a look at the word pandemic. What is the difference between the word epidemic and pandemic? Epidemic is where the disease is spreading but it is affecting a smaller number of people, maybe a country, maybe a region. But in pandemic, it is affecting a vast number of people which is spread across a vast continent or vast parts of the world. Example, cholera epidemic in Yemen. In pandemic, we can give example of AIDS. So, this is the two uh, figures where you can see epidemic and pandemic difference. Where epidemic, the disease is uh, concentrated in a area which is spread in a country or across one, two countries. Pandemic is actually spread across many countries. It can happen across many countries. So, H1N1 swine flu was also considered a pandemic in 2009 because it was started in Mexico and continuously spread to all parts of the world, many parts of the world within a very short time. Let us come to the cause behind swine flu. The influenza A type virus which causes flu, okay, here the influenza A type causes swine flu is actually a two kind of virus mainly H1N1 and H3N2V, V for variant. Now, what is H and N stands for? This stands for proteins, hemagglutinin and neuraminidase. These are the two proteins that are present on the virus, on the viral surface. H1N1 pandemic outbreak occurred in 2009, remember. And in H3N2, that outbreak uh, on multiple places from 2011 onwards. So, it is a new strain that came up and caused this kind of swine flu. Okay. And uh, remember these viruses are capable in molecular terms, they are capable of multiplying inside your own cell. So, whoever is attacked, the virus machinery will go into the cell of the host and will use the host cell machinery to produce their own copies. So, thus it is a dangerous kind of virus which can produce immediately a lot of copies into the body of the host cell itself, into the body of any human or any pig. Now, we will come to the structure of the H1N1 virus. So, inside the swine flu virus, we have got this following structural details. We will come to the structures one by one. Okay, 
hemagglutinin and neurodiminase you can see the two proteins they are used for different purpose hemagglutinin is helping to bind to the cell that is the host cell which is our cells and neurodiminase is helping to cut out from the cell of the host okay there are some proteins as well m2 m1 protein is present well m2 proteins the function is to maintain the ph level okay of the virus and the cell itself there is the genetic material the genetic material is called rna nucleoprotein and nucleoprotein polymerase these codes for the viral proteins okay they are the blueprint for the viral proteins needed to make more such swine flu virus this is the whole structure of the virus of one virus how you will know you have got swine flu virus there are certain symptoms the symptoms of swine flu include fever and lethargy okay there is will be a lack of appetite and ma majorly you will have uh, coughing sensations coughing and a uh, kind of pneumonia kind of high fever that will occur respiratory problem difficulty to breathe runny nose and sore throat the muscles will pain rapidly they will start paining okay inside your stomach you may probably feel vomiting sensations you may have diarrhea kind of sensation or you may have loose bowel movements and obviously joint pain so swine flu has got these various symptoms swine flu can spread from one person to other very fast and what are the reasons of spread the major reasons are aerosol particles when an infected person sneezes it releases lot of droplets called as aerosols into the air and these droplets if inhaled by a healthy person or been taken in the air by a healthy person they can lead to swine flu in that person itself what are the other reasons poor hygiene and sanitation so remember you have to maintain your hygiene and as well as cleanliness to ensure you are not affected with any of the virus overcrowded places places with lots of people there is a great number of chance that some can be infected and they will release a lot of virus from around thus overcrowded places is one such method of the swine flu spread and lastly the lack of hospitals and medicines in various parts of our world or in india also we have lot of places where there is no such good healthcare system so why does the swine flu returned in india okay the primary cause is the virus can mutate the virus can combine and form more dangerous kind of virus and the process is called strain combination so suppose suppose there is h1n1 strain two or more types of this kind of strain can produce a new subtype so even if you think that there is some medicine for a one kind of strain the virus can immediately mutate to a different kind of strain and that process in which the virus do it is called antigenic shift okay and in this kind of process it makes a new strain which is further difficult to kill and thus it spreads again in some populations so that antigenic shift is observed in regular intervals generally in india and it caused the spurt of h1n1 swine flu even if it is a seasonal flu now or h1n1 medicines are there it can be lethal it can be fatal okay people can die in this flu even compared to some other flu virus so we can see the indian epicenter of swine flu is rajasthan gujarat maharashtra among some other states so gujarat and maharashtra is worst hit by this kind of swine flu virus let us take a look at the different states which is been attacked with swine flu if you look at the cases you can see rajasthan gujarat maharashtra on the top along with delhi as well as telangana now look at the paradox look at the condition of delhi delhi on the other hand has almost 2060 cases 
but the deaths compared to the other states are far less. Why do you think this paradox occurred? This is because the availability of hospitals and medicine facilities which are not present in some other states and that is why the death may occur due to non-availability of medicines or proper healthcare system. So, let us take a look at the different states uh, that is Maharashtra and Gujarat which has almost 65 percent deaths more than 65 percent deaths actually because of this poor hygiene, overcrowding, absence of a good surveillance system that is they cannot pick up the patients within the initial days and the lack of infrastructure in the government hospitals which has taken a lot of toll in these two states mainly Maharashtra and Gujarat. Okay. So, let us see the prevention of swine flu. How can we prevent swine flu? There is a medicine called as Oseltamivir phosphate also sold under the brand name Tamiflu. So, this is a very common medicine given to the person who is infected with swine flu virus. Generally, remember it does not kill the virus. It only stops the virus spread for a while in your body and it should be taken within 48 hours after the symptoms started to show up. The effects, the side effects includes stomach upset, skin rashes and headache. There is another medicine with the name of Zanamivir which is having the brand name Relenza that is also reported to reduce the effect of swine flu. So, remember Tamiflu and Relenza these are the two medicines for the swine flu virus. We have another kind of uh, response that is the immune response or vaccination. So, is there any vaccination? Yes, there is. The vaccination is in the nasal spray form okay, which injects live virus or weakened live and weakened virus directly through a shot through the nose. Vaccines are available in India under the brand names Agripal, Fuerix, Influgen, Influvac, Nasovac, Vaxigrip. So, these are the vaccines available for combating swine flu. But remember the vaccines can give immunity only within a year, uh, only uh, within 8 to 9 months, within a year its uh, effect reduces and the vaccine has to be reboosted. We will come to the end of the module by saying if you have not got it, you better prevent it. What are the ways to prevent? First, cover your nose and mouth in crowded places. We have seen lot of people doing that in various reasons, in various regions where swine flu has spread. This is because it spreads through the air. Wash your hands with soap after every 2 hours. This is very important even if it seems illogical. It is actually very important to keep your hands free of dust and germs because you do not know that what you are subconsciously touching within these 2 hours. Always cover your nose and this is a very hygienic process by which you can uh, stop delivering the virus into the air whatever is present inside your body. And also maintain distance from anyone who has this flu. This is the most important point. If anyone is diagnosed with swine flu, please maintain a distance from those patients because it helps them as well as it helps you to prevent it from not spreading worldwide again. Let us come to some questions pertaining to this module before we end it. Question number 1, look at the following statements about the disease swine flu. Now, uh, it is a very important kind of question. You can read the three lines. It is a respiratory disease caused by virus that is found in pigs. The symptoms of swine flu are same as seasonal flu. The virus can spread from one person to another by inhalation or ingestion of the droplets from the sneeze of an infected person. What do you think? Which one is the correct? Okay. So, respiratory disease, yes. Symptoms almost same as seasonal flu and also it uh, is spread by ingestion or inhalation of the droplets that is coming from an infected person. So, D1 will be the correct answer. Let us take a look at the question number 2. Look at the following sentence. Shaking hands with an infected person, can it spread swine flu? Inhaling virus from droplets of sneeze from an infected person, can it spread or eating pork products, products which are made up of uh, the pigs, 
pig meat okay the pork products so do you think that one or two or three or all of them is correct actually the correct answer is number 2 because eating pork products or shaking hand with the infected person directly does not communicate the virus to you it is actually communicating by the air by the droplets that is coming out in the air the last question nasovac is a vaccine developed by serum institute of india now what is the true uh, statement above uh, for the vaccine okay it is a vaccine used against swine flu yes we have learned just now that nasovac is a brand uh, produced by serum institute of india it's a kind of a vaccine that is against the swine flu it is a intranasal that is pushed into the nose kind of vaccine it contains live weakened forms of h1n1 virus true so these all are true statements it is a one time only vaccine this may be false because uh, generally we have seen in vaccines against swine flu they require to be given within a year so the correct statement will be 1 2 and 3 so b1 is correct thus we come to the end of the module for such interesting topics please stay tuned with learning space